Hello, this is Rebecca here with Create with Rebecca. And today I'm back with the video to not only show you my setup for the week, but I wanted to show you real quick how I was going to make a little folder that fits inside my personal planner. So this week I have moved into my pink um, Webster pages, and um, it is a favorite. I had a toss up between the yellow and um, the pink, but I went with the pink this week. So this week, I am using um, this paper by Doodlebug Designs, and it is a very whimsical, bright uh, colored paper that's all about summer and travel, and I just love all the colors that come with it. It's, it's double-sided. Oop, this is a different page, but it's double-sided. And so, I basically made dividers using, using that paper. Um, I also cut out, they also had one page, my cat's being crazy over there, so if you hear a bunch of noise, she's acting up, she's climbing all over the place, but, um, but they also had a page that had these cutouts, and aren't the cactuses really cute, and so I just went ahead and cut these out, and I figured I could use them, I was going to use them as covers, but they're a little bigger than um, what I had intended, a little shorter and a little bigger, so... I plan on using these another time that came out of last week's um, in my planner. So what I want to do is uh, first of all show you a flip through and then I'll show you how to how I'm going to create the little folder that fits in here. So one of those die cuts was this cute little flamingo and I added some washi tape on it and then um, it's just the cardstock. Um, this is actually another piece of the paper that came that I made a divider out of. It's these cute little VW um, vans. And um, I put a little quote on there and then I laminated it. And actually I was going to put um, some of my sticky notes that I like to put on the back here and carry, and carry with me so when I need to jot a note down I have this and I can just pull it off and either put it on my weekly or monthly or daily. And so the divider I made was, um, the first one was these pineapples, and I basically used a flower-shaped punch along with a circle punch, and I just put a st heart sticker on there. So I have my weekly, and then of course um, my bullet listing that I use for my weekly, my daily, I'm sorry, and then I have my weekly, which is the flamingo, and this is, let me show you my layout here, That's, this is just, you know, I kind of fill it in as I go along. I actually have some things I need to put in there. And then um, my monthly, of course, I'll show you that, is the VWs. And then the notes section is the pretty um, tropical flowers. So what I wanted to do was create a folder so I can hold those other little um, papers in there. Um, and so let me show you what I'm gonna, how I'm gonna make that. I'll put this aside. And I'm going to get out my paper cutter. It's kind of big. We'll see if it fits inside the, the, the frame or not. But basically, um, I have a this type of paper cutter. And um, what I do is I take an, a divider and I'm just going to I'm just going to make it twice that size. So I'm just going to come in here and kind of divide. Um, use it as a place marker, as a template, and then kind of mark it right here. And basically you're just doubling up the paper. Okay, so I'm going to come in here and cut that with this. What I like about this paper cutter is it has these lines over here so I can measure it up from top to bottom so you don't have a, a crooked line there. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to mark a fold here. Because basically with this folder I'm going to only make it like half of this. But I'm going to go ahead and fold this up. A lot of times what I like to do too is use, um, this is where you're going to decide what, do you want the polka dots? I think I'm going to do the 
since the palm trees are up, I'm going to actually make the folder the palm. So we're going to just fold this up. We can use the palms as a guide to make sure it's even. And then I'm going to fold this in half because we only need half a folder, right? And that way I'll know where to cut as well. So I just line that fold up and I'll cut it down. And there we have it like that. I'm going to get my bone. And that way I can kind of bone folder and make it a more of a clean cut. Then I'm going to take this and fold it over. Do you see where my folder is coming in at here? So I'm going to do that. And take it. Now, what you can do is when you're creating these folders is create a top one. And, um... And so I'm going to come in here with some tape and I'm going to run it along the edge here and along the base. And you can definitely, excuse me, definitely use glue as well. And that works. Oh, you know what? Before I, oh, you know what? I made a mistake here because I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and punch this. I don't know if my punch, let's let's just test it out. It may punch through here. I've, with the happy punch, oh, you know what? It's going to work just fine. Let's give it a roll here. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that shut. The What my concern was, this is being too thick, because I noticed like in the happy planner punch, it um, is too thick. So I'm going to use this as a guide from my last week's layout. Just line the polka dot, the dots up underneath, so that way I just know exactly where to put this in at. And you can see it's going to be kind of thick. So let's see if it's about even there. Okay. And then let's see if it's going to punch it. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Now I guess I forgot to do this part too, but um, when you have it in your your personal planner. I mean, it's going to be held down with the um, with the rings, but I'm going to come in here and just add a little bit of adhesive to close these on each side like that. And then I actually was a little messy with my adhesive, so I'm going to come in here with some glue, with some scissors, and just kind of trim these edges off. Another thing you can do is, um, even before you make your folder, you could um, you could add washi along here. You could totally decorate this up and make it really cute. How about we add a saying on the outside of... Do you hear my cat over there? I don't know if he, it's catching it or not, but she's playing around. Let's see if we can find something really... Um, really up with the theme of this tropical summer summer look here. I'm just kind of searching in my die cuts and paper that I have. Um, we need something a little bit. This may work. That's cute. Okay. So let's add that. And I'm going to add a little bit of washi as well. And you know, um, I'm going to do some pink and a little bit of green, even though we have lots of green with those palm trees. That may be a little bit too big here. Let me find some skinny washi here and add it to the bottom. Then you could do, you could add, you know, even uh, little gems or something like that. Let's see, let's let's go ahead and put it in here and see how it's going to work. Pop 
probably what I'm going to do is want to put it like right there. And there we have it. Let's see if these guys fit in there. I started thinking about that after I made it, that they're not, we can fit stickers in here. That those papers that I had originally thought, if I make them the same size, so I'm going to add just some stickers that I have for my drink stickers. And, um, you know I love these. Sorry. I love these. I wonder if I can cut some down and use them, save them in there. Because these are some of my favorite stickers that I found. These are actually Happy Planner stickers. But I like, I've been carrying them around just like this because I do like them. I'm just going to cut them in half. That way. Whoop, nope. I'm going to have to come down even more. There we go. That we have those in there too. So let me add a little clip here. I like these little bow clips. On the back side. And we can also add a few more. Maybe some um I had some Project Life card. Oh, you know what? I also like to carry these little flags that that I a friend of mine made by Angie Boutique. She has some in her shop. So I'll leave her link below. I've had these in other um, videos as well. So, alrighty. Well, there you have it. A quick and easy, simple folder to go along with your cute themed um, planner. Alright, well thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.